Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Today we are taking a look at the incredible golf swing of Justin Rose. Justin Rose has been on tour for decades now. One of the best golf swings in the world. So let's get started and dive in. We've got front on down the line with driver and iron. So you get a really, really good in-depth look at Justin Rose's golf swing. And we're gonna be talking through some of the things he's worked on uh, throughout his years, how he's improved his golf swing, some drills he uses to help you guys swing it a little bit better as well. So first of all, we have this awesome driver clip, Justin Rose hitting driver. Now, the first thing to note, he has that alignment stick in the ground. He has two alignment sticks, one just behind the ball for his general alignment down the line, and then this stick in the ground at about a 45 degree angle, which is going to be helping him make sure he keeps that club on plane and doesn't drop it underneath. And I'll be explaining more about that in a second, but Justin Rose's driver setup, absolutely perfect. Posture is incredible. Perfect amount of knee bend, hips stacked over his ankles, really really good shoulders and alignment is really really perfect really textbook golf swing now as we take this club back justin keeps big wide takeaway hands move a little bit away from him hands and arms a little bit away if we pause this parallel to the ground you can see how wide this takeaway is with that club way way outside the hands really good like this position you know, you could say maybe one of the things Justin works on is keeping his arms a little bit more connected to his body throughout the golf swing, which I'll be explaining more a little bit later in this video. But now if we start to play this back, keeps that club beautifully on plane, face nice and square, bends that right arm, starts to get the right arms really deep, pivoting really nicely. And if we pause it at the top, that is a pretty textbook position to get yourself in. That club is pretty much perfectly down the line. He has really good depth with his arms. His left wrist matches the club face pretty much perfectly. One of the most, one of the things I personally like the most about Justin Rose's golf swing in this position is his body positions, is his pivot. If you look at his lower body, he's pivoted nicely into that right hip. Justin Rose, if you haven't seen my pivot versus turn video on my channel, do check it out because I do talk about pivot versus turn quite a lot. Justin Rose has a lot more pivot in his golf swing, not as much turn, but still pretty big load into that right hip in this position. You can see a lot of bend in that left knee but keeping a bit of flexion in that right knee as well, which I personally really like. So now we're gonna to start to play this club down and see what Justin Rose does in the downswing. And there's a few really, really important factors in Justin Rose's goal swing, which he's trying to do here with this alignment stick in the ground. Now we can see from Justin Rose's arm structure, his arms, his right elbow is a little bit away from his body, great width with the arms, but because he's kind of, uh, kind of externally rotated his right shoulder already, that's going to help him pull the arms back down in front of him. Now, as we start to play this down, we can see he does start to turn the lower body quickly, but one of the first movements is actually his hands and arms slowly dropping down back in front of him, and the shaft actually steepens just a little bit from the inside so that he can pull those arms and hands back out in front of him, get them above that alignment stick. He doesn't want to see them dropping below it. And then as we pause it parallel to the ground, that gets him perfectly on plane with a slightly squarer club face a little bit earlier in his golf swing. Also at this position, beautiful connection with the right arm still to the body, really, really like that spine angle is perfect as well, posture is excellent. And we can see if we look at his feet, the, how his right heel is a little bit off the ground already, but his right knee has not moved into the ball, right hip hasn't moved into the ball. He's actually shifted his weight laterally left onto his left foot. You can see all the weight and pressure going through there. And then as we play this down into the ball, continues to turn through. And if we pause it just at impact, this is a pretty great impact position. There's a lot of things 
the average golfer can copy from this. People like Dustin Johnson, Wilco Nienarber, Will Zalatoris, uh, Xander Schauffele, Justin Thomas, all those guys, it's very difficult for the average person to copy their golf swings and their impact positions because they have a lot of flexibility, a lot of athleticism, and a lot of rotation. Justin Rose does have rotation. His hips and shoulders at this position at impact are open to the target, but he's maintained his posture, maintained his spine angle, and I would probably say this position would be easier for the average golfer to get into and also more sustainable for their bodies long term because he's not putting as much pressure through his hips and spine as say Dustin Johnson or Xander Schauffele would or Justin Thomas. And you have to remember guys, all these guys are doing a huge amount of gym work, flexibility, mobility training every single day. They have been for years, this is what they do. That is a big part of how they get such good golf swings. We can also see at this position at impact that the he still has the arms nicely, nice, really nicely connected, but he started to release that club with the hands and arms, starting to straighten that right arm. And as we play this through, he will continue extending that right arm really hard down the line. And the club face rolls over quite quickly. And then as he comes through, he brings those hands and arms back in front of him. They stay nicely in front of his chest as he turns through to that classic Justin Rose balance finish position. Now we're going to take a look at a driver swing from front on guys before we have a look at an iron swing from down the line and iron swing from front on as well. So this is really recent this year's US Open. And if we, well, first of all, let's set up. I wouldn't say he has a wider stance, probably pretty average stance in terms of width with his feet, just wider than shoulder width. Um, pretty textbook setup, nothing else really to note here. Again, anyone could really copy that. As he takes his club back, he's going to actually shift a little bit laterally at, before he takes the club back, loading into that right side. And then if we coil this back up to the top, keeps that club nicely wide, hands wide, in club in front of him. And as we pause it at the top, Really, really good position here. Incredible body positions he gets himself into. Arms and hands nicely in front of him. Little bit of bend in the left arm, interestingly. Just a, just a tiny bit. Um, really big shoulder turn. Great coil. Great spine angle. Absolutely love that. Great lower body positions as well. You can see how his right hip has actually moved backwards so that you can see a little bit of a gap behind where his right hip was. That's really, really good there. And you can even see if you look at his left foot, so on our right side, but his left foot, you can actually see it's a little bit roll onto the inside of the foot and that's because he's putting so much weight and load and pressure into his right side, into his right leg, right glute for at this position. And then as he starts to swing down, we're going to see a little bit narrower on the downswing, holds on to a little bit of lag, but then starts to release it as he comes down into the ball, releases it nice and early, great position there. If we pause this at impact, we can actually see how at impact his hands just behind the, just behind the ball. We can see he's maintained his spine angle. We can see all that weight going through his left side now because he's shifted that weight and he's actually pushed up off the ground with his left leg, left leg pretty straight at this position. And then if we continue to play this through, we extends the right arm, lets those hands release over, beautiful extension and that nice balance Justin Rose finish position. So let's just play these two swings back to back for you guys. First the down the line driver and then the uh, front on driver because it's a good opportunity to look at both of these swings and understand how Justin Rose swings the golf club from both of these angles and then we're going to be having a look at an iron swing. So a few things that jump out to me which I would say any, any of you watching could learn from this an incredible connection with the arms to the body for the majority of the of the golf swing, especially the takeaway and backswing. The body positions are incredible. Anyone could copy those and learn from those. The way he pivots 
to the top, the big, huge, wide uh, shoulder turn, hip turn, load into that right hip, how he uses the ground, how on the downswing, he's really pushing, loading into the ground and then pushes up off the ground. That's really, really, really important. How he releases the club a little bit earlier so that he doesn't come through too narrow. That's important, definitely. Keeps a nice bit of width on the downswing and a little bit more consistency coming through the golf ball. Posture, spine angle, setup, all really, really incredible positions for Justin there. So now guys, let's jump into the iron swing. First of all, iron swing from uh, down the line. And this is actually a drill Justin does. He's using a, um, well, he's using a training aid here. He's using the Smart Ball from Tour Striker Golf. Tour Striker Golf makes some incredible training aids. I've done reviews of the Plane Mate you may have seen from Tour Striker Golf on my channel. Really, really good training aids. Highly recommend checking them out. And Justin Rose has been using the Smart Ball for a number of years now. Really, like, honestly, uses this religiously. And that's a really important aspect to how he's gotten such a good golf swing. So, as we are paused at setup, again, posture, everything absolutely spot on. Copy that any day of the week, compare it to your own golf swing. Really, really good positions. As he starts to take the club away, the smart ball wedges between his forearms, so keeps his arms nicely connected together. We pause it parallel to the ground. Really good position there, club head outside the hands. Nice and square, love that position as we play it to the top. Keeps that club beautifully on plane, really, really good there. We pause it at the top. You can see how beautifully square that club face is with his left wrist, really great position. You can see kind of why he's using the smart ball. It's helping him not get that right arm too far away, too deep. Keeping his right arm connected will be helping him get his arms back out in front of the body. If you struggle with striking your irons consistently, I'd highly recommend trying the smart ball. Keeps you really, really nicely connected. Really, really good training aid. Also, if we look at Justin's body positions here, really incredible body positions. Great, huge pivot into that right hip. Great load, great shoulder turn. Really like that. Loaded into that right foot, right glute. And spine angle is excellent. As we start to play this down, you can see that smart ball keeping him on plane, keeping the connection with the hands and arms as he comes down with a square club face. If we pause it, we'll pause it just after impact, guys. And you can see how open his hips and shoulders are at this position. Really good, no early extension at all. Really incredible position. He's rolled onto the inside of that right foot. Really, really good there, compressing the golf ball nicely. And then as he swings through, Really, that smart ball keeping his arms in front of his body, not a massive flip. That smart ball stopping his hands and arms flipping over too much, and that great balance finish position. Incredible swing that. So, let's just slowly play this back a few times for you guys to look at. Just look at how connected the body is with the arms. That's really, really important. How good his body positions are with his spine angle, his hips, his lower body. Great pivot, great turn. Lower body and spine angle is, you know, just incredible throughout Justin's swing. Anyone should be looking at that and thinking I could copy that, I could improve that in my own golf swing. Now, guys, let's take a look at a iron swing from front on again. This is actually at the US Open and really good look at Justin's swing here. Again, set up pretty neutral, you know, feet maybe just slightly wider than shoulder width apart. That club shaft pretty much running up through his left shoulder. Really good positions here as he takes the club away. Big wide takeaway, like to see that. And if we continue playing this to the top, we're gonna see him coil up really, really nicely, loading into that right side. And if we pause it at the top here, you can see how in front of Justin with his arms, he keeps his arms and hands. That's really, really important. He is nowhere near parallel to the ground. We can see this is actually a par three at the US Open. You can see that the, the, uh, the board behind him, it's 223 yards. So you'd think he's probably hitting 
at least a six iron, maybe more. And the club is getting nowhere near parallel because he has such great connection with the arms and hands. So if you do have too long a swing, try videoing it from this angle. Try and keep those arms and hands a little bit more in front of you. Big shoulder turn, big load into that right side. And as we play this down, it's going to shift that weight left onto his left side before coming down, pulling those arms and hands back out in front of him and pushing up off the ground. Look how he pushes up off of the ground and as we pause it at impact here really great position you can see how much he's compressing the golf ball how he's returned the club shaft to almost the position it was at address going up through his left shoulder and how much of his weight is going through his left foot rolling onto the outside of that left foot a little bit and as we play this through extends the arms and hands beautifully down the line keeps them nicely in front of him as he comes through to a balanced finish position. Really good look there. Let's play that back a few times. Honestly, guys, I can't overstate how many things the average golfer could learn from this position, could copy from this position, would be a really, really, you know, if, if you can even get close to this, you're going to be a really good ball striker, a really good iron player, really, really impressive positions there. You're going to strike the ball really consistently. So that is Justin Rose's golf swing from front on with the iron. Now we're going to quickly take a look at another swing from the open. This is with an iron. And then I'm going to show you a slightly older video of Justin Rose's golf swing to show you what Justin's really worked on improving in his swing. So here we are at the open and I'm not going to go through setup too much. I'm just going to play this swing back to the top and pause it at the top. And similarly to other swings we've looked at, you can see how square the club is with his left wrist and how, you know, just what a beautiful position he's gotten himself in. And then if we play this down, you're going to see how he keeps the club, the arms and hands drop deeper, keeps the club in behind him with a square or club face. And he's really kind of coming down onto the ball. If we pause this at just, well, just after impact, you can really see how he's able to maintain a stable club face and then turn through the golf ball. And if we play this through, again, keeps, he doesn't roll the face over too much as early as he might have previously done. Now, if we have a look at a slightly older video of Justin Rose's golf swing, just from a few years ago, and we play this back slowly to the top, similar, but if we pause it at the top, we're going to notice a little bit of a little bit of cupping in Justin's left wrist. The face is much more open in the golf swing. And then as we play this down slowly, the face stays open for longer, still open. If we pause it parallel to the ground, the face is still not not as shut as it will be in the current swing. And then as we play this through impact and we're going to keep playing it through impact, you see he has to really roll the face over a little bit more in this golf swing. Whereas if we go back to the one we were just looking at of Justin's iron swing from the Open this year, you can see the club face much square at the top. And then he's able to come down on top of the ball with a square club face turning out the way and then kind of holding that club face off. Really, really important there to note those changes Justin's made from maybe a slightly more old fashioned swing into a slightly more modern swing with a slightly stronger club face and a little bit kind of more rotation holding on to those angles a little bit longer, especially with the irons. So guys, that is Justin Rose's golf swing. Let me know, comment down below, what do you think of that? What do you think of Justin's swing? What else, is there anything I haven't mentioned? Anything you think I should have? Just comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you do comment your thoughts down below. And guys, let me know what other swings you want me to take a look at. Is there any comparisons you want me to make from different players? I'd love, love to hear it from you guys. As always, guys, I will see you guys in the next video, so make sure you are subscribed, and as always, grip it and rip it.